Hi there, my name is Bill Hill and I'm a TAM here at VMware. I'd like to take a quick second and show you a cool function here in VMware Workstation you might not be aware of. And so in IT, we're tasked to help support the business in developing and running applications that are critical for our users and our customers. Now, it's not often that our users and our applications are in the same location, especially for a geographic company or even a global uh, user base of our solutions. The application might be here, but the users could be anywhere. So understanding the impact of varying network conditions on that application and that user experience is really important because if it's a crummy experience, nobody's going to want to use it. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what that looks like. And so in this environment here, you can see I have VMware Workstation up and running. I have two virtual machines running. One is my mission critical business application, as well as a client. And that's meant to represent the user wherever they are in the world. And on the right here, you see three SSH sessions, the black one being to our application, and then the blue one being two connections to our client uh, virtual machine here. So I'm going to go ahead and start this process. And the first thing we're going to do is start iPerf3. Uh, it's a great utility. I'm not going to go into all the details of what it does in this session, but just know we're using iPerf3 in server mode here. So let's go ahead and start that. Now it's listening for connections. Next up, we're going to go to the very bottom here, and I'm going to start a continuous ping to the application server from the client. Now I'm using ping because it's just the most basic and common visibility tool we have here. There's other tools that exist that might be more appropriate for your application, but for now, we're just going to use ping. Now in this middle section here, I'm going to use that same iperf command, uh, except in, it's, uh, it's in client mode, so you can see we're, we're pointing it to the application server, right? iperf knows how to find um, find the server on port uh, 5201 here. So let's go ahead and start this and start pushing a lot of network traffic through. So again, this is uh, establishing a baseline for you know best conditions, if you will, of running these two VMs on the same VMware Workstation instance here. So you can see we, we push some traffic through uh, and that's, that's fine, right? We're testing, so we, we're understanding the, the best condition. So let's go ahead and take a look at what these cool utilities are. So I'm gonna go over to VMware Workstation and I'm gonna right click on the, uh, the virtual machine itself and go to settings. Inside of settings, we're gonna load the virtual network adapter here and then go to advanced. Now these settings are, are hiding under advanced, but you can see that we can adjust the profile of the traffic for incoming as well as outgoing traffic. Right, I'm doing this from the, 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 the position of the application server. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and affect all of the traffic that's coming in. Right, so from the client into the application server. And so in this instance, I'm going to use one of our pre-canned options here for a T1. Right, it would, it's not uncommon that you have an application in your data center and maybe some global users on maybe an MPLS connection with T1 connectivity between them. So let's go ahead and select that. And you can see that it filled out um, one and a half megabits here for, uh, for the bandwidth. And so let's go ahead and hit OK, and then OK to lock that in. So now what we've done is we've affected the application server's virtual NIC to only allow so much traffic to come through. So we still have that server running up here. We see it's listening. We still have our continuous ping running. That never stopped. Let's go ahead and start iperf3 again here. But let's see what happens now that we've restricted it. Whereas before we were pushing megabytes per second up here, right? We see that kind of scrolling off. Now you can see that we're working in kilobytes, um, which is dramatically lower. And as this finishes, right? Let's go ahead and scroll to the top. You can see that we pushed 609 megabytes at that initial baseline test. In this test, we, we push 3.37. And if I stop our continuous ping at the bottom here, during that test, you can see latency shot through the roof, right? Whereas it was <clears throat> sub millisecond. Now we see that it was over a second, right? And if we scroll through, there's a second and a half all the way until the test finished. So 
in trying to use this application that required a lot of data to go through, we started seeing the network conditions fundamentally change, right? Latency shot through the roof and we were not able to push as much traffic, but that's because we were simulating a T1, simulating that experience of our users. So let's go ahead and uh, kind of reset things and run through another test. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to network adapter of our application virtual machine and then hit advanced. I'm gonna set this back to unlimited, but this time I'm gonna uh, simulate packet loss of, we'll call it 25%. We're gonna lock that in by hitting okay a couple times. Again, we can see the server is continuing to listen for connections. I'm gonna go ahead and start our ping again. There we go. And I'm gonna run iperf3 from the client again. Okay, great. Nothing has changed from the commands that we're running, only that we changed the network uh, profile. So now you can see here that we didn't transfer very much, but what I wanna point out here is these retries. Because we're using TCP, these packets are gonna be retried because we are dropping one out of four packets, 25%. So think about the applications that you have in your environment. Are they sensitive to voice or real-time traffic? Do you need to worry about UDP versus TCP and how you're gonna handle putting those packets and that data back together again? That matters. Or even just considering what's the user experience like for people on these very unique connections, like maybe satellite out in a remote location. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this back so I'll go again, application server itself. We're gonna go back to the virtual network adapter, advanced. I'm gonna set this back to default and then hit okay to lock that in. Now we're back to where we started with, unlimited on both sides, no changes. Now these testing, this testing so far um, has been interesting because we've been affecting the application server, but we know often the, the applications that we have aren't hosted in workstation proper. It's usually more development. Sometimes our applications are out there already. Maybe it's a SaaS application. Maybe it's something that's already deployed in your data center. Uh, maybe you're, uh, you're working in a help desk or an admin role where you need to help troubleshoot what's going on. And so I'll show you one last thing here. Same concept, we're just gonna flip it around a little bit. So now if we go to the client virtual machine here, we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead go to settings, load the virtual adapter for the client, go to advanced. This time we're gonna, we're gonna mess with the outgoing transfer. So this is traffic leaving the client virtual machine. Doesn't matter where it's going, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna restrict that traffic. Go back to our friendly old T1 here. Let's go ahead and lock it in. So this would be very useful for, again, applications that are deployed outside of VMware Workstation that you need to understand what the impact is going to be. Again, it could be a SaaS application, right? It could be something deployed in your data center or any other set of you know, deployments and configurations out there. So I've made that change. You can see here the application server uh, is continuing to list, listen. Um, again, it's back to unlimited, unlimited no impacts to the network. We have a continuous ping running here, and I'm gonna go ahead and start. All right, so now the client is acting as though the traffic leaving is going through a T1, and so now we've affected it from the perspective of the client itself. And you can see the same kinds of impact here, right? Dramatically lower transfer rate, we see a little bit of retries here, as well as the ping shot through the roof. But this would be applicable, again, from the client perspective of getting out to somewhere else on the internet or on your network. And so with that, that's it. I hope you found this useful. Again, check out VMware Workstation. It does a lot of really, really cool things. Some things you may not know about, just like this. So thank you so much, and uh, we'll catch you at the next HamLab.